So let's demonstrate pressure control to you. So this is a pressure control mode. As you can tell here on the ventilator screen, the trigger by default, as we said, is assist control and the backup rate is 16 per minute. We have to provide it. And then we provided that the patient trigger is a flow trigger at three liter per minute, the, th the threshold. Now we move the target, as we said, we it's a pressure target we told the ventilator we need the proximal airway pressure during inspiration to stay at 20. and it's right here at 20. it's 30 here because simply we the 20 start at 10 the baseline peep so and the ventilator keep this fulfill fulfill this requirement so this is the pressure target the next thing, the cycle is a fixed or predetermined inspiratory time. We have to provide it to RT. It's 0.85 seconds here. And basically, um, the, if you see the green things here, this will last for 0.5 seconds. This is the FiO2 and this is the PEEP. The tidal volume here can be variable and it depends on the inspiratory time and the flow. The flow here it's not decided because it can be variable and it's by default decelerating ramp for the reason we explain, explained on previous videos. Um, but to play with the uh, the uh, the tidal volume as do you need to play with this up and down simply as you know if you increase the flow and increase the inspiratory time you will increase the tidal volume and if you do the opposite we will decrease the tidal volume indirectly by increasing the pressure here that require higher flow here which means higher tidal volume here So things very clear. So you provide uh, the things we just mentioned. You don't provide tidal volume here. I want quickly to introduce something we'll talk about later on. This is the peak, the highest value of proximal airway pressure during inspiration. And as you can tell, it's equivalent to the 20 plus 10 here which means 30 so it's plus minus two or three margin but that's the um, maximum proximal airway pressure during inspiration the ventilators put it here and as you can get to the pressure control we decide that based on this number and the last thing because the inspiratory time is directly set you can easily calculate the expiratory time these ratios sometimes are not that accurate on the screen.